The following is intended for mature audiences only. May contain strong language, crude humor, adult themes, and suggestive material. Uh, we have another episode of We're Done Here for our live taping in the New York Comedy Festival. Okay, you, you, you may be curious about what I've been drinking all night. Uh, I'm so sorry because I've drunk all of it. Um, but we do have a liquor sponsor for this event. It's Umi Plum Liqueur, yes. They are our liquor sponsor. It's a Japanese plum liqueur. Um, so we've been drinking it all night, mixing it with Prosecco and a splash of uh, soda. Yes, so that's like an Aperol spritz, but not, right? Um, so thank them so much for sponsoring this event. Uh, but I am here with a great guest. Oh my God. Hello. Dylan, Hi. how are you? I'm good. Thank you so much for having me. Most of, it's Dylan Adler, everyone. Thank you. Thank oh, yeah. you. You're good. You're good. You're good. You're good. You're oh, good. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Great, great, great. Is, is this for show? Oh, good. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> amazing, amazing. It's going to be. So, Dylan's a comedian, uh, a New York City based comedian, but not really a New York City based comedian because he moved. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, tell us yeah. a little bit about yourself, Dylan. Yes, I'm. Um, well, you said I was like, I, I'm the the wine is sponsored by my people. I'm half Japanese, <laughs> so it's like yes, uh, <laughs> drink up. <laughs> um, I I'm I'm good. I'm like. I'm gay. Yeah. <laughs> yes. And we're at like the gayest hair salon. I love it. Yeah, so it much. is a gay barbershop. Um, yeah. The barbershop. It's, the, it's a gay bar- well, it's not necessarily well, you know, y'all tell me. It's a yes. it's an inclusive environment. Yes. 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 Inclusive but, environment. Yes. <laughs> but yeah, I'm gay. I'm 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 half Japanese, half Jewish, soy vey, bitch. <laughs> And um, yeah, I'm just I'm in LA now, but now I'm in. New oh yeah, so yes. that's what is this whole I'm in LA, but I'm in New York. Are you going back because the strikes are over? Yes. yes okay, yes. got it. Okay, um, got but it. But I'm 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 in LA now, but I I like kind of I I'm. I was in New York for like eight years. No, that's true. That's what I was like. You were, he's a New York City comedian, I will say. Mm-hmm. But like, where are you from originally? Uh, the Bay Area. I'm oh, from San Francisco. Oh, so you're from originally. San Francisco. Yes. Then you yes. moved to New York and then you moved back to California. Yes. yes okay, yes. so who's better? Oh my God. <laughs> well, uh, I, New York at night is unbeatable. There yeah, is nothing. Thank like, you. New York yeah. is unmatched. In LA, they stop at 2 a.m. Yeah. It's so uh. like, and you can't go to a bodega. And, like, no, there's is nothing. There's nothing. So you're fucked if you like end super late. Yeah. Um, but um, I do like the sun. Oh. <laughs> I, I like that sunlight. old thing. I like sunlight. The sun. Yeah. The sun. <laughs> So you had quite the journey um, in comedy, I would say, mm-hmm. so far. Um, I know you're writing. You moved to L.A. because you got a job. Yes. So tell us yes. about your job. I was uh, writing <laughs> for James Corden for a little bit. And then that's done. Yes. That's okay. Done now. Okay. That's done now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just for very, very quick. Um, but I it brought me out to L.A. And like now I'm just kind of... Uh, and then the strike happened, so I was yeah. just kind of chilling there with no job. Okay. Kind of drinking kombucha and, yeah. you know, doing what they do. Yeah. And um, <laughs> now the strike is over, so hopefully other jobs will roll in. But I've been, like, visiting friends here in New York. Oh, I stuff. love that. And yeah. you're here for the New York Comedy Festival. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yay, yeah, 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 yeah. Yay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm so yeah. happy to hear that. Well, yeah, you'll be back at work soon. I hope. I hope. If I suck <laughs> the right dick. You yeah. Know. <laughs> know how it is. <laughs> Yeah. If we only <laughs> suck all suck yeah. the right dick. The thing is, you just sometimes don't suck the right one. Right. <laughs> That's where. Sucking a lot of the wrong dick. Yes. Is yes. Where, yes. Yeah. Yes. I, I sympathize with there. that. Yeah. I, I, <laughs> I sympathize with that. Okay, yeah. great. Yeah, I love your comedic journey. I love your comedic style. You went viral last year. What did you do? Oh, <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> I um I I did a backflip. Oh yes, yeah, yes, you yes. went viral for the backflip. Yes, I was yes, just like, yes. okay. <laughs> I um I did a <laughs> backflip. Well, I pretend like uh, th- someone like we were just like getting footage of of us at Universal Studios, and they're like these performers in the Harry Potter world. Oh and yeah, I was, like, I've been there. I pretended like I was a shady performer who didn't get on, <laughs> and I'm like I was like sitting there like just kind of like this, <laughs> and then I do a backflip. 
And then everyone's like, who is this faggot? Um, <laughs> but then I, I posted it. And, yeah. then, and then and then at first it was like doing okay. But then everyone was like, this dumbass, sour ass dancer. How <laughs> dare he do this? And everyone was like literally after a little, I opened my DMs. It was like, faggot, faggot, clown, faggot, faggot, clown, faggot, faggot, clown. <laughs> I was like, Thank, I'm a gay comic. Thank you. <laughs> That's what I do. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I love that. I love how you go viral from the hate. <laughs> yes. Yes. It was mostly negative. I <laughs> uh, love it. Mostly negative That's virality. how you go viral, yo. You got to be negative. You have to stir the pot. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. I love that. I love that. So this is We're Done Here Pod, you guys. Mm. So we always talk. It's an emotional wellness comedy podcast. Yes, yes, so yes. we're not here to talk about your fabulous career. <laughs> we are here to talk about you coming out. Yes. Yes. Okay, so uh, people are interested yes. in that topic. So tell us about that yes. journey. Well, yes. This is the first day I'm out. No, I'm ah. just kidding. No, just kidding. Just kidding. Just kidding. Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> um, <laughs> being this gay first day. No. Um, I am. Um, I I start well. Basically, the first person I came out to was my twin brother, mm -hmm. and I was like, well, he actually sophomore year of high school. He came up to me and he was like, Dylan. I don't know. I I think I might be attracted to guys, and I was like, "Ew! <laughs> don't ever say that again." <laughs> you know. Um, but then a year later, I was like, "Same girl." So uh. then, like, well, so like we like we came out. Like I was like. It was nice to have my twin brother. Yeah, so that's we really would, cool. So we came out like kind of as a tag team. I'm confused. Didn't everybody know you were both were already gay already? Pretty much. Oh, yeah. okay. That's how I was, I was assuming. Yeah. How old were you guys? We were 17. And everyone already knew, except yeah. for you two. Yeah, like Got we would it. like go to our cousin's <laughs> house and like choreograph dances uh. <laughs> and like <laughs> like wear my cousin's princess outfit. So they were just waiting, pretty much. Oh, uh, okay. Waiting. Oh, everyone was waiting for you to come out. I love that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah okay, yeah. you're. Your brother is still in the Bay Area, though. He's in uh, Tucson, Arizona. He plays the oboe, like oh, clarinet. That's and different. He plays, yes, it's, it's different. Okay. It's a band different. gay. I never yes, met him. Never met. He's a band gay. I he never is. met one of those. Yes. Um, and, you know, he he plays there for the symphony orchestra. He does Mozart and Beethoven. Over that's there. pretty gay. Okay. Pretty okay, gay. that's very gay. Got it. A lot of band gays then. Yeah, a lot of band oh, gays. Oh, wow, that yes. makes sense. Okay, yeah. got it. Okay, so you can't, you're you 17. You, you and your brother come out a year apart. Like, how does the yeah. family react? So, I mean, I, 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 I felt very fortunate because my, my uh, mom and dad were, like, cool with it. And it actually quickly became my mom's whole personality. She oh. was like, yes, finally. I, <laughs> um, I love that. But uh, then we, we like, we came out to everyone in our family, yeah. except for our Japanese grandparents. And we, oh. were like, we were like, maybe they'll die first <laughs> before we, <laughs> no, I don't know. We were kind of bargaining. We're like, how is this going to go? But they were like, so my mom pulled my grandma aside and was like, I have to tell you something. Max and Dylan are both gay. And mm -hmm. she was like, I actually kind of suspected that. Mm. And I think that's OK. Oh, and we were like, oh, my God. Obachan, we love you. And she mm. was like, I love you guys. And my mom was like, bitch, you never told me that before. <laughs> I love you. Grandma is so liberal. Liberal. <laughs> I love that. So it seems like that seems like a very easy coming out story. Was there any like a, adversity? Like, <laughs> I, 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 what is I the know, struggle? I know. No, I know, I know. <laughs> it was when I did my backflip. That was the hardest <laughs> moment. You should have seen my DM. <laughs> um, I think. Uh, well, I mean, I think the hard moment was. It was there. There's still like we're we're out to our. Japanese grandma, but not our grandpa, because we're nah, like, yeah. I don't, I don't know <laughs> what, what he'll think, you yeah, know. No, got it. So I mean, but but I mean, I I'm, I feel like truly really lucky that like it was like I was with my brother and I didn't have like a a negative response. Oh, that's so cute. Yet. So I mean, it's I know, yeah. Does he have a boyfriend? No, I, I okay. have a boyfriend. Oh, you have a boyfriend? Yeah. I don't know why I'm shocked by that. No, I'm sorry. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I had no idea. 
<laughs> okay, I love yeah. I love that you have a way of it and your brother does it. So yes, that's cute. Yes, yes. Uh, so, <laughs> <laughs> so in terms of like coming out, uh, have you ever like, I don't know, just felt like any like sadness around coming out or any uh, had any toughness dealing with your sexuality or felt unsafe? Like, tell us more about this type of stuff. Yeah, well, I mean, like we didn't come out to our high school because our high school is like pretty like homophobic and okay, stuff. Okay, they didn't know y'all was gay? They kind of did. Okay. And they, they were like, <laughs> but I was like in the in the gay straight alliance as like an ally. Oh, <laughs> bisexual. I know. I was like, <laughs> I'm questioning. You know, <laughs> I'm the Q, you know. Um, so, but uh, yeah, it was kind of weird at our high school. So we didn't come out to our high school, but we waited God. until after we graduated. And in college, you guys came out. Oh, I don't know if you want to call. You don't have to. Yeah, but. yeah, yeah. Okay. I did immediately. So that was oh, okay. Nice. Immediately, as soon as you got to college. As soon as I got to college. Was yeah. it like hard? Like, did you and your brother split apart or did you like go to school together? Or? We split and I was like, bye, bitch. Yes, oh, okay. please. Because <laughs> we wanted to like, we were always like the twins. We're always like okay. separate. So even though I love him and I, I would miss him, like if, I'm, I'm glad we, I established our own identities and stuff. No, I, I get it. And then, like, coming out in college and, like, kind of being that, like, new gay, like, what were mm. your experiences? Did you make friends right away? Were you hanging out with the girls? <laughs> like, what were you doing? Oh, my God. I will... The moment I turned 18 mm -hmm. i got on grinder oh and then i was a horny <laughs> this is what i, I was ready hear. No, 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 no. i was ready and then like <laughs> on grinder but grinders was such a crazy place back then because there would be like it was sometimes fun experiences but then sometimes i'd go to someone's house and they had like a they had like a you know kimono hanging in the back mm. or like they had like samurai swords no! in the back and then Not one an guy, Asian one, fetish. I know, Asian fetish. <laughs> so I ran into a bunch of, we call them rice queens in the gay yeah. community. Yes. <laughs> okay, so you ran into a bunch of Asian feathers. Yes, we ran into oh a bunch God. of rice queens. And yeah. you're, all, you're half Asian too. Yes, yes. So they were yes. like, best of <laughs> both worlds. Okay, <laughs> exactly. I get it. I get it. Hannah Montana, <laughs> that's right. I get wait where's your where was your school? My school oh well I went to New, uh, NYU so I was in Oh New okay York. so you're yeah. like in the gay mecca of the yes. world. Oh my god exactly, exactly. So you just it, it was just like yeah so you would run that would be the trouble here in New York. Yes yes running yes, into the yes. rice queens. Yes <laughs> and in the bay where they all are too. Yeah that's true. Yeah, okay yeah, yeah. so that is oh god be so that's fun though be a a young gay person in New York it City was. like I, well, I was come like, on I was NYU so Horny. I was so <laughs> repressed. And I was like, I've never been hornier in my life than when I was like a repressed, closeted <laughs> person. And, I, and then, like, finally, it was like, oh, all the dicks, you know? <laughs> yeah. I know you were, you you have to be a theater kid, right? Absolutely. Oh, so yeah. you went to. <laughs> Yes. So you went to Tish. Yeah. Um, oh, okay. Oh yes, wait. That, yes, <laughs> I was yes. sorry. I'm just assuming life for him. Yes, uh, yes. No, I So did. wait, are they? I mean, the whole the whole program is gay. Absolutely. Okay. 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 Yes. <laughs> The whole absolutely. So instant community. An instant uh, battleground. Oh, <laughs> Divas love and personalities. Is a Ex exactly, exactly. <laughs> um, but it was fun. It was nice to be surrounded by all those people. Nice. Mm. I love that. I love that. So I really, I really like that. And I know, like, uh, of course, New York City is a safe haven or what have you. But a few, a few months ago, um, a gay man was actually killed in Brooklyn from dancing to that's Beyonce. Right, that's you, right. That's right. So that's which right. The, something like that never happened here in a sense. But has there any been? Has there ever been times here in New York City have you felt unsafe here, or maybe while traveling or doing comedy? Um, just on the subway right here. Ah. <laughs> I almost got into a fight. I don't think it's because I was gay. Uh, probably because. It's New York but City. It was, just, it was a shove thing, and then he shoved my backpack. I'm like, oh, if you shove it again, then I'll get mad. <laughs> <laughs> then I'll do something. No, but um, yeah. I mean, like, I've I've been called a faggot on the streets. Oh, and I'm like, so aggressive. True. <laughs> 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 yes, I'm like yes, but um, I guess in those moments, yeah, I felt <laughs> unsafe. No, that makes sense. But um, yeah, I uh. Uh, yeah, I think it just, you know, when you're when you're in New York for so long, I mean, like something. But I mean, I do feel lucky that there are so many like if someone were to hate crime, all the queers during Pride, it like you would exhaust yourself. There's just so many. <laughs> you can't like you. So I mean, like there's just so many queers in New York. No, so that's, that's why true. I feel like it's in LA um, too. And LA too. Yeah, I heard the they're Bay mean. Area. They seem mean over there. All gays are mean. Oh. <laughs> no matter where they are in the world, all gays are very mean. I was mean. like, all my gays are 
sweet. It's a bunch of Regina Georges. Yes. That's so funny. Yes. I love it. <laughs> yes. Okay, so you and your brother have come out. You have a boyfriend. He doesn't. Where's your boyfriend? In New York or LA? LA? LA. Okay, so was it easier to find a boyfriend there than here? Well, I was just kind of in my whore phase in New York. Oh, everyone's a whore in New York. That's why no yeah. one ever has a boyfriend it's here. It's the city of sex. You yeah, know? that's true. It's the big fapple. So <laughs> I am. Um, yeah, I was kind of looking m- more for like relationship in LA because that's where I was like more. B- I was just like kind of visiting, so I thought okay, I yeah, don't yeah. want to stop. Like, but uh, in LA, I kind of s- s- like settled down for a little bit. Okay, yeah. nice. How long has this relationship been going on? Uh, just two months. Oh, two. This is new. Okay, yeah, it's new. <laughs> He's like, I have a boyfriend. My brother does it. Two months. <laughs> we'll see. I love that. I love that yeah, though. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. that is great. Um, yeah. and then. Has your pa- have your parents met your boyfriend yet or not really? Not yet, but um, I think maybe, maybe I don't know, maybe after the break or something. Okay, there's a break. The b- <laughs> yeah, the <laughs> Christmas break. Oh, okay. I yeah. I only think about that, you know, when you go to school. Um, yes, 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 yes. <laughs> Are you in school? No. Oh, you no. just act like an adolescent. Absolutely okay, God, not. Christmas yeah. break. Like. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Like, there, there is I was no like, break. are we still doing that? <laughs> <laughs> uh, but, uh, so, do you have any tips for any young gays, like you know, trying to come out or whatever yeah. to their parents? They uh, don't have a brother. Yes, I, um, <laughs> you know, have a twin. Is my is, no, no. Um, I would say I think like there's to know that you know there are a lot of young queer people like yourself Mm -hmm. and that you could connect with them whether it be in person or online and like you can i know like a lot of people like including myself i would like chat with people on facebook Mm -hmm. and like you know talk about sexuality even i wasn't even talking about it with my brother i was like so i think you could find that and that's like that was that was helpful for me and some other people so i mean I think that could help you through. It's like a, a little sense of community if you don't have it in your immediate. Got it. You know, Meet strangers life. online. That, that yes. <laughs> yes. It really helps. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Meet strangers online. Absolutely. Meet strangers online. Form your community where you can get it. Yes. And any whoring tips that you may have uh, oh for my God. people trying to, you know, just whore it out. You know, what, what's some of your best secrets? City MD is great for STD testing. <laughs> Medicaid, it works <laughs> for me. And um, if you get chlamydia, it's not the end of the world. Ah. <laughs> Getting chlamydia is not the end of the world. Yeah. I love the. I love yeah. to hear. What about herpes? Herpes is forever. Oh, scams. Yes. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's so funny. Well, thank you so much for sharing thank your coming you, out Mika. story with us. I appreciate that. I love it. I love thank it. Thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, well, this is uh, We're Done Here Pod. So I guess you're you're done with coming. You're done with your coming out story. But is there anything you're not done with or something you're obsessed with right now? Oh, my God. I'm, um, what have I been obsessed with? I've been um, getting, I've been watching a diva compilation YouTube videos. Wait, what just is like, that? You, it's like. 30 minutes of Mariah Carey being a total diva. Oh, I love that. <laughs> or like the video of like 30 minutes of Beyonce being a total Virgo. Like, oh, yeah. Or like, are you the Aretha Franklin video of her being like, th- like, yeah. Nice, she was like, say a nice <laughs> thing about every celebrity. <laughs> and she said great things about like, you know, Mariah Carey and like um, Alicia Keys. And then she got to Taylor Swift and it was like, oh, great yeah. gowns. Gowns. The gowns, beautiful <laughs> gowns. Beautiful gowns. Oh, that though that's what I'm getting into. I love the way what do, you, <laughs> what do you have to search to get there? You <laughs> just watch um uh a div, you just have to uh, type in faggot. <laughs> no, just oh. it, and it'll show up. I will not be typing that in <laughs> <laughs> But thank you so much, Dylan. This has been so much fun. Thank you so much, Thank Mika. you. 